Good morning from Birmingham's Utilita Arena. And if it's world-class badminton you're after, then you're in the right place. It's quarter-finals day at the 2022 All England Championships. Glorious day outside, and we're hoping for some glorious action inside an arena that seats 16,000. You'll see all 10 matches live on court one today. Here's our lineup, starting with singles, and two women who've won this famous title five times between them. Taizu Ying against Nozomi Okuhara is first up. Then we've a diet of doubles. Olympic bronze medalist from Tokyo, Kim and Kong, will start favorites against the Japanese pair Matsuyama and Shida. That's followed by men's doubles, top seeds, Gideon and Sukumuljo. The daddies face Indian pair, Ranki Reddy and Shetty. Back to the women after that, Thai pair, Kitty Harakul and Prajong Jai against the Chinese giant killers, Zhang and Zheng. And we conclude our first session with Indonesian legends, Arsan and Setiawan. They've won all five previous meetings with the Danes, Astrup and Rasmussen. Don't forget, we've then got five more matches this evening. That'll be in the company of Jill Clark and Steve Pedersen. The Olympic champion, Victor Axelson, headlines that. But we're concentrating initially on the women's singles. There is how the draw is panning out. That's the full draw, of course, now. We're in the quarterfinals. And it's, uh, well, an embarrassment of riches, really. So many big names in the last eight, and we're going to see two of them momentarily. Tai Su Ying and Nozomi Okahara. My name's Trevor Harris. Alongside me, as ever, is Morton Frost. Fascinating encounter to get us started on quarterfinals, though, Morton. It is. It's such a good women's singles we're going to watch. And as you said, you, you put it so right when you said they've got five titles between them here in Birmingham. So, yes, I'm very, very much looking forward to the match. Well, that's the World Tour Finals trophy. That'll be competed for at the back end of the year. But there's plenty for these women to compete for over the next three days, potentially, if they make it through to Sunday's final. Prize money in total here, by the way, $1 million US, 70000 for the winners of the singles in both the men's and the women's. 74000 incidentally, for the doubles winners in the three categories there. And you'd have noticed from the applause around the arena that the players are on their way. This is the Yonex All England Open Badminton Championships 2022. Let's welcome the players onto court one for the women's singles quarterfinal. Let's hear it for the number one seed from Chinese Taipei, Tai Tzu Ying. And her opponent, the number five seed and reigning Yonex All England women's singles champion, Nozomi Okuhara. They know each other pretty well, these two. This is the 14th meeting. It's currently 7-6, as you can see there, in Tai Tzu Ying's favour. Red. So we can't deduce a great deal from the head-to-head -head more than other That's than right. it should be closed. Receive. No, you're Thank right. You. Uh, sorry, I was trying to pay a lot of attention to the... Uh, uh...
he'll be assisted by uh, Apedji Rushali of India, who is the service judge. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Nozomi Okahara, Japan. And on my left, Tai Zhu Ying, Chinese Taipei. <laughs> Nozomi Okahara to serve. Love all. Play. Kind of deduced from that that the crowd <laughs> siding with the world number one. Hey! She has nothing against uh, Okahara. I don't think it'll bother her in the slightest. She's serving to get this match underway. Make quite a few yeah, unforced errors no. yesterday, Tai Zhu Ying. And sometimes it happens when you're up against a top class player, as is the case of both, of course, that, that the general level gets raised. Because in so many sports. Oh, that's a beauty. That is really well played. So, so sharp. Over. So close to the net, but look at the one oh. where the shuttle is actually landing way before that first line. On that the service line, and that was it's a very strong indication of a good shot. So she's announced herself now, Tai Zhu Ying, on quarter final day. Played several of those kind of shots yesterday. It's kind of a mixture from her against the uh, Umbungrum Pan. Service over. Two, one. But that Deception that she shows is such a potent weapon. Well, two can play at that game. Three, <laughs> one. Yeah. Let's me. If you can do it, I can do it better. That was a really nice shot again, this time from uh, Okuhara, the uh, reverse. Slice from the backhand side. Now, now, I will say that uh, Tai Su Ying yesterday against the Pusanan and Bang Rompan of Thailand, she was she was struggling. She won 21-19, 22-20. It was close, and uh, it was not only the scores. I think the match was really Three close in, in all aspects of Play. it. So she was struggling a bit uh, against a player that she should normally beat. Fairly convincingly. Oh. At a best, magic. Two, three. Just a delightful touch again from Tai Su Ying. Yeah, and if Okuhara can't get to it, I'm telling you. No one can. <laughs> Almost no one can. Perhaps a few, but she's very, very quick on her feet. Three all. Just over. judging from uh, the first Four, seven three. rallies here in the opening game, it looks like the drift is not as dominant as what it was yesterday. Yesterday, if you look at it from Okahara's point of view, she would be standing at the very fast end. But today, it doesn't seem to have that drift, not at all in the same way. So 
um, I think the um, the advantage of you know having one side Five, compared to three. the other side is not really that dominant today so far. Interesting point that where Tai Su Ying was beautifully dragging Akahara in, created the opportunity, but then put it wide. Place. Over. Four, five. Yes. Yes, both players are not the tallest of athletes. And uh, sometimes they have a weakness in the deep backhand corner. If you really punch them two or three times into that same corner, they find it quite hard to, to defend it. And this time we saw Okuhara had to give in on that first one. Five all. Well, punch and counter punch in the early stages here. Five all it is. Six five. Mentioned that it's seven six in the head to head, but it's actually their first meeting in more than two years. Excellent again from Tai Zhu Ying. Arrow Seven, straight down the line, five. too good for Akahara to send it back. Yes, uh, Tai Zhu Ying is the more creative of the two players, more attacking as well. But she's also making more mistakes. And uh, Okahara is uh, the steady one, the retriever, the one that's getting everything back. So it's important for Okuhara not to make Eight, mistakes like what we five. just saw here on the back end. It was a fairly simple one, not under pressure at all, and she must not make mistakes like that. Service over. Six, eight. I'm not sure there's anyone in the game, in the women's game, who plays that shot better. Nine, six. At the moment, Tai Su Ying is playing with a very, very good element of risk, I think. She's, she's playing with the risk, but she's still keeping, it in, still keeping it fairly safe, and it's definitely working to her favour at the moment. She's nine, six up, which is a good start here in the first game. And here we see the attack towards the backhand side. And that's setting it up very beautifully, isn't it? Almost Ten, like a six. boxer softening up their opponent with a couple of jabs and then landing the right hook. Exactly. It's badminton is very much like a chess game. Beautiful shot. Really good anticipated by Okuhara. Tries to look at that how she's covering the forehand as so Tai Su Ying is moving up at the net on the forehand side. Seven, going cross ten. court. This is the one. Look at that. She's seen that one. Very, very good anticipation. <laughs> on the line. Seven, seven, and an 11 7 lead 11, for the world number seven. one. Uh, the mid-game break.
one, 20 seconds. Court one, 20 seconds. Eleven seven. Play. Again, we see Tai Su Ying going fairly close to the line, but still 12, kept it fairly safe seven. as well. When, you know, in badminton terms, players can play very accurate, and uh, this one, of course, was one of uh, a very good example. But still stayed, what, a few inches in, so it was, despite 13, the fact that it was really seven. sharp, it was still fairly safe for her standard play. Tell you what, Akahara's going to start seeing that shot in the sleep this evening if uh, <laughs> this match keeps going, have nightmares about it. Service over. It Eight, will be very important 13. for Tai Ying to uh, keep herself focused. Uh, she's got this tendency on, on occasions to go what we call on a walkabout and uh, not really focusing and uh, giving her way a lot of points and she cannot afford that. Uh, on the other hand, for Okohara, she must really start grinding a little bit more, get even more back and forcing some mistakes from uh, Tai Su Ying, which she's actually not doing at the moment. Yeah, unforced errors. Uh, minimum over. really for Tai Ying so far. Eight. Well in control as we stand and it's just great for the fans here in Birmingham to get to see some of the best players in the world. Obviously, a lot of events in, in Asia. We, we do have some events, of course, in Europe, in, in Paris and in Denmark. This is the one event in the uh, United Kingdom. Of course, the Commonwealth Games will be here in a few months' time in Birmingham. Actually, be playing that at the uh, NEC just up the road. This arena here will be uh, used for gymnastics. Utility arena. No, I think was it? No, just landed it's on the line. Yeah, it's in. Eight. She's playing with really good length. Uh, so far, I think uh, is some of the best I've seen uh, Tai Su Ying play for a long, long time. Okuhara under a lot of pressure. Almost like she was seeking inspiration from somewhere there. So at the moment, she is second best here. Sound judgment as well, as so that drifts wide. Eight. Oh. Wow. That I call anticipation. Seventeen. That is phenomenal. Eight. Yeah, to say she saw it coming is something of an understatement. It's like she knew. I've never seen that. That was so good. Oh, it's out. <laughs> it's almost like, think of a number between 1 and 50, 28. Yes, so that's over. right. How did you know? <laughs> Astonishing. Nine, the previous point. Tai Su Ying can do nothing wrong. 18, 9. She's playing really, really well. And I really feel with uh, Okuhara here because what can she do? Well, this is becoming almost an exhibition. 19, 9. This is how I imagine Tai Su Ying would play when she's practicing. 
you know, when there's no pressure and everything is just flowing. This is how I see her practice. Service over. Well, she's human, but uh, shouldn't make any difference. Just a couple more points needed to Ten, secure 19. this opening game. <laughs> I just got that completely wrong. It was from the sublime to the ridiculous, really, from the previous point. So in a, an incredibly and maybe surprisingly one-sided opening game 20, here at 10 game points. Game point, 10. For all ties of to seal the deal. Just 15 minutes, that was as impressive and as one-sided as it gets. And well, I don't know if there's go from here, more. Yeah, it's going to be very tricky. I think her, her chance is still trying to to tire out Tai Su Ying a little bit and, and go for longer rallies and, you know, really, really dig deep. I think that's the only chance she's got at the moment. Then, as I often talk about, maybe play with a little bit more element of risk. She's got to take a few more chances, got to go for the lines, have to try to go tight at the net and so forth. If not, if Tai Su Ying can keep this up, it's going to be very, very difficult for Okuhara. Not sure what the message from the coach would be, really. Just more of the same, please. Yeah, keep, keep going, going. Keep going. Don't complicate stuff. So times like this, I wish I spoke Japanese because, you know, what, what was the message? You have to try and instill some self-belief, I guess. But he's a good coach. He's been around for many years, done really well with the uh, women's singles of Japan. So uh, I'm sure they have a very strong, good relationship. They know exactly what they're talking about. And and I think the body language of uh, Okuhara is Court simply one, just showing, you know, OK, seconds. I lost the first, but Court I will one, be back. 20 seconds. Well, starts at love all. And uh, we've seen so many times how quickly momentum can shift in badminton. But she needs, you suspect, a fast start in this second game. Otherwise, this quarterfinal could easily slip away quickly. Second game, then. Second game. Love all. Play. One love. I I think Okuhara is a little bit possible because love. I think she thinks it's the same conditions as yesterday. And therefore, she felt that she was perhaps playing with the drift in the first game and now was going to play against the drift in the second. And she started pushing two out on the back line, which is just is another indication of the fact that the, the drift is uh, quite neutral today. Uh, that's a very good scrambling from uh, Okuhara, really well played. Just under permanent pressure right the way through that rally. And despite all those brave recovery shots in the end, there Three, was just no way love. she could keep in the point. Yeah, this is really well played by Okuhara. But the last shot here from Tai Su Ying, just excellent. But this is the kind of form she needs to find, Okuhara. Keep going, keep at it. Keep the pressure on Tai Su Ying and see whether she can force her into mistakes. 
love. Well, we've had 35 points, and you saw that that previous bit of information we put on your screen. 29 shots, the longest rally, and that's testament to the fact that Tai Zhu Ying is playing such attacking badminton. But as Mort keeps stressing, not taking any undue risk. He's just producing world-class shots like that. Yes. Five love. It's just winner after winner. I'm, I'm sure it must have happened. I, I can't remember seeing Rizzoni Okahara just so completely outclassed. We were talking about a former world number one, the reigning All England champion. She's an Olympic medalist, and at the moment, she just cannot get anywhere close to Tai Zhu Ying's level. No, I, I've seen her once before in a, in a similar situation, and that was at the uh, World Championship in 2019 in Basel. That was the final against um, PV Sindhu of India where she lost uh, quite a Seven heavy loss in that final. Love. And it was a sort of similar score lines and a similar, you know, way pattern. But, uh, you know, she was simply not in, into yes. the match. make her feel a bit better she's uh, she's on the board in the second game it's a fine shot too yeah but that's one what i was trying seven. to say earlier she needs to go closer to the line she needs to really try to score winners and and add some pressure on tyson and still keep it going and make it physical as physical as possible at the same time Excuse me, Tai Su Ying was indicating someone was using flash Service over. behind the court. Eight, one. anticipated this kind of match between these two players before this match started I thought it was quite an even affair but uh, one have to say Tai Su Ying is bringing her A game today right in the corner again there's only Okahara challenges call well, the Japanese in. asking Hawkeye to have a look so we're going to see the technology for the first time today Let's see whether any part of the shuttle clipped the line it was called in never rains but it pours for a Harbour. I only get the impression you could put a, a quarter somewhere on the court like a, a, an American coin worth 25 cents and say to uh, you yeah, just hit that from the back line and she'd do it nine times ten, out of ten one. <laughs> it's pretty close he's Play. doing really well today In. That's in. Yeah. Good play by Ogohara. <laughs> I think Tai Zhu Ying changed her mind about three times. She was going to play it, then she was going to leave it, then Two, play it, and in the end, ten. left it. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> but it was definitely in. Good play by Ogohara. Good lift right in the middle of that rally as well, wasn't it? Just to get Tai Zhu right back on the back line. And yes. 
ease the pressure a little bit. Three, ten. But this lift is really good as well. Good pressure lift, attacking lift from the net. And then, of course, setting up good opportunity. That's well played by Okuhara. So 11-3 the lead. So it's over. You just get the feeling the victory's 11, not too far away three. unless something changes quite dramatically in the complexion of this match. Only 24 minutes of play and ties you in with one foot and maybe four toes in the semi-final. Court one, 20 seconds. Court one, 20 seconds. Eleven three. Play. It's just, it's wonderful to watch, unless you're Nozomi Okahara. 12-3. Yes, or a great Japanese fan. Because it's just one shot after the next. Of absolutely top quality from Tan Su Ying. 13-3. Should be a collective noun for winners, like a, a welter of winners or something like that, because this is just... Absolutely outstanding. That's good. Oh, yeah. We will have a challenge on it, but that's Tyson really good play from Okuhara. Yeah, it was close. He just Bold got the impression in. it might have just clipped the outside of the line. So uh, Okahara may be OK, but Hawkeye will be the ultimate judge. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the fascinating thing challenge for me, assuming Tai Zi Ying does go on to win this match, which One looks challenge likely, remaining. if she can Service keep up over. this level, you know, don't forget, Four, we got 13. 10 new phase in this Play. tournament, and yes. Se so Young's in this tournament, yeah. Yamaguchi, I mean, it's a, anyone is anyone, really, just mouth-waters what might be uh, in store in the semi-final and beyond. Yeah, Okuhara have to go on the attack, over. have to try to... See if she can attack her way out of the, this trouble. I uh, know it's very late now, she's trading by 10 points, but uh, the only time when she's doing well in the rallies is actually when she's attacking. The way forward, but it's a long way Service up. Service over. Five, fourteen. Well, longest journey begins with a single step. That was a good point from Okahara's point of view. <laughs> Service over. Fifteen, five. Kara will keep trying, but she wouldn't be human if she didn't feel seriously deflated by this, not just by the scoreline, but just by the, the golfing class today between these two. Now we're left. 
service over. 6 16. Seven sixteen. Example of uh, if Okahara can play more aggressively, she's standing a better chance. Oh. Oh, left from Tai Su Ying. Great Service awareness. Over. 17, I mean, it's the transformation Morton, between the way Tyson is playing today and 24 hours earlier. It's yeah, that's stark, isn't it? It is. She's doing Nine, her very best, Okohara. And I fear for her that it's, uh, yeah, too little, too late. But uh, I think she's actually starting to find the formula, the recipe on how to stay in this match, but I just feel it's too late for her. Yeah, damage almost certainly has been done. There's four points needed now for the woman from Chinese Taipei. That's the Service problem over. for uh, Okuhara when she's caught in that uh, deep 18, backhand corner, forced nine. to play the backhand. Very often it's coming to the net, and what we saw here, great anticipation from Tai Su Ying. Over 10-18. Yeah, that was a bit of a wild shot from uh, Tai Su Ying, but everything else has worked, so why not try that one too? Over nineteen ten. Yeah, stayed in. Well played by Ty to keep that shot so tight at the net. From such a low position. So after just 33 minutes on court, 10 match points for the world number one.
Yeah, that was anticipated by Taisi. Service over. <laughs> well, talk about your tournament yeah, life hanging by a thread, 20. literally. That was it. Just yeah. decided to sneak over, so she lives to fight for another point. Well, just simply stunning performance from Taisi Ying. Wonderful. And if she keeps playing like this, she will take some stopping. Three-time winner previously of the All England. I think she wants the fourth, Morton. Yeah, I, I, I couldn't agree with you more. It, it was an outstanding performance from Tyson Ying. Ying. I, you know, as she also 10, rightly pointed out, 11. when we saw her play yesterday and then today, it's just two completely different players. And if she can play like what she did today, it takes a lot to stop her in this tournament. When you look at uh, Okuhara, it's not her day in the office, just, you know, go home, do the training, come back and uh, just forget it. I'm trying to find out the stats at some point, how many winners times you hit in this match, but plenty is the uh, layman's answer. Just an utterly dominant display from the women's world number one. 21 10, 21 11, 35 minutes to match time. Incredible. Next up, it's women's doubles. Don't go away. Well, a very warm welcome back to Birmingham, England's second city, and uh, what a display we've just witnessed from Tai Zhu Ying. Two love in the blink of an eye. She's in the semis. Next up, it's women's doubles. Kim and Kong.